Hi, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Stephanie, and I'm Jacob. Hey, today is our TOEIC unit, and as we always do, we're going to、uh, read through the article and then come back and discuss some of the vocabulary words that you might be seeing on a TOEIC test in the near future. Some of you out there who are getting prepared to take the test. But these are also words and phrases we use quite frequently. So today we are going to go on an adventure、mm. with wisdom teeth. Have you had your wisdom teeth pulled out? I have actually.、Um, it's not. My favorite thing, you know, to go to the dentist or to get your teeth worked on, but、yeah. I think sometimes with wisdom teeth or getting them pulled, that it's something you have to do. You can't say, "Oh no, I, I'd rather not do it," because it can be so painful that you have no choice, right? You have to go get them pulled. How about you? Have you have you got your wisdom teeth pulled before?、Uh, oh yeah.、Um... I do know some people who haven't gotten them pulled,、mm. but if I had any advice, I'd say do it when you're younger rather than wait till you have to. Okay. Because sometimes if you wait until your wisdom teeth have a problem, then it really is a bad experience. <laughs>、uh, no, I had to go out of the country for a couple years.、Uh, I was doing a mission for my church, and we always have to get our wisdom teeth pulled out.、Uh, the only thing good about that is you get to eat lots of ice cream. Yes, right. Yes. Yes. That's a good point. That's one benefit to having your wisdom teeth pulled. So what we're going to do is I'm going to pretend I'm a dentist. My least favorite person in the world <laughs> is the dentist, and then Jacob's going to pretend he's Aaron. Let's go. I see you're here for a checkup today. Is anything bothering you? One of my rear teeth has been bothering me the whole week. All right. Let me go ahead and take a closer look. The dentist examines Aaron's teeth thoroughly. It's apparent that you have a massive cavity in one of your lower wisdom teeth. I think we should probably schedule an appointment to remove it. Is there any way to avoid that? I've heard the procedure is extremely painful. I understand your frustration, but I strongly recommend removing it. Wisdom teeth are prone to decay due to their position, so leaving it in would endanger the surrounding teeth. It would increase the risk of numerous oral problems such as gum disease and tooth decay. Out of curiosity, how long does it usually take to recover from a wisdom tooth extraction? Nowadays, the vast majority of people feel fine after three or four days. However, It may take a couple of weeks for your gums to completely heal. Well, I guess removing the tooth is the most sensible thing to do. What are the next steps? Today, we should take a new set of X-rays so I can assess the condition of the tooth, its exact position, and any other related defects. Then, you can speak with a receptionist to schedule an appointment to have the tooth removed. Okay, guys, we're gonna just dive in and talk about this stuff.、Mm. Look at our title first: getting a wisdom tooth pulled.、Um, I think most people have wisdom teeth that grow in.、Uh, there's just not one tooth. This particular lesson, this guy only has to have one tooth pulled.、Um, I had four teeth pulled,、wow. you know, from the top and the bottom, and、um, they put me to sleep. I went to an oral surgeon, so it wasn't so bad, but.、Uh, Yeah, it just takes a while to recover because they're cutting your gums. That pink area around your tooth; those are called gums. So it's never fun.、Mm. Uh, but I got a lot of attention. My mom was so good to me and served me, and、um, I slept a lot. But、uh, it's not fun. Now I figured out why they call them wisdom teeth. Have, do you know the story no, behind、huh? it? Well, in the back of our mouths, there we have our what are called molars, M O L A R, molars, and those are the teeth that we use to chew things. Now we get molars when we're a little bit older, right? There's right. the like the ten year molars or something. The twelve year molars they come in. Now wisdom teeth come in when you're a little bit older, usually between the ages of say seventeen to twenty one.、Uh. Ah. At that age, we're said to be older. We're said to be a little more wise, maybe. <laughs>、uh, so wise, of course, means smarter, more mature. So these teeth, these teeth way in the back that come in when you're between seventeen and.
and twenty-one. They call them your wisdom teeth. <laughs> That's so interesting, isn't it? Yeah, and I didn't even realize they grow later than our other molars.、Mm. Well, that makes sense.、Uh, I didn't have any room in my mouth、yeah. for any more teeth, and so it was messing up everything. That's usually a problem. They can crowd your other teeth、mm-hmm. and make them crooked. So a lot of dentists will be like, "Okay, let's just pull them out." Yeah.、Mm. And that's not fun. So we, we, our dentist here、uh, is a female. She says, "You're here for a checkup. So if you have a checkup, it just means you go in and you have a pretty thorough examination. Usually, we use this word for our teeth." If you go for a checkup at your doctor,、mm. um, we usually call that a physical. I'm going to have a physical, my yearly physical.、Um, physical there is being used as a noun, but it's also a checkup. They check all over you、uh, with your teeth. We usually go every six months, right,、uh, to see if we have any new cavities or if we need our teeth、uh, cleaned or fixed in any way. So he went to see the dentist for a checkup, and she. Asked him if anything's bothering him, if anything's hurting. That's what her question meant. Right. So if it's a checkup, it's not. You don't have to be sick. You know, you might be healthy and go、mm-hmm. for a checkup. It's、sure. just a regular, a regular appointment. Well, Aaron answers. He says one of my rear teeth has been bothering me the whole week. Okay. So the rear, one of his rear teeth. Now rear here basically means behind or in the back. You could say so. The rear of your mouth is near your throat. Let's say the back of your mouth. So one of his rear teeth has been bothering him.、Uh, rear is also sometimes we hear it、uh, to, to describe your bottom. You might call it your rear end.、Mm-hmm. You know, if you get hit in your rear end, you get hit on your bottom. Let's say so. Yeah. So he's saying one of his rear teeth, the teeth in the back. Are bothering him right now, and then the dentist examines Aaron's teeth thoroughly. To do something thoroughly means you do something with a lot of care and completeness.、Uh, you're not quick and sloppy. You do a very, very thorough or good job. You're looking、um, at something with a lot of attention to detail.、Um, if you have a job, your boss hopes that you will complete your tasks、uh, thoroughly with completeness. You won't leave something undone. So the dentist. Says well, it's apparent, or I can see that you have a massive cavity、uh, in one of your lower wisdom teeth. The cavity is what we get when、uh, usually it's sugar that most affects our teeth, and it will kind of start to to decay or dig a hole into our tooth. And when you go to the dentist to fill the cavity, they want to fill in that hole that has decayed. So this. Though happens to be in one of his wisdom teeth, which means he can probably just pull that wisdom tooth out instead of filling it. Right. Yeah. So you can usually we we fill a cavity, like、mm-hmm. Stephanie mentioned. But with the wisdom teeth, what doctors or dentists might want to do is just pull them out. So you can schedule an appointment to come back and to remove it、mm-hmm. uh, or to pull it. We say pull a teeth. A tooth. tooth, yeah. yeah、right. Now, Aaron says, "Is there any way to avoid that?" Okay, right. So you're at the dentist, and then <laughs> the dentist says, "Oh, can you come back?" And most of us, our minds would probably, you know, tell us, "Hey, I don't want to come back." So maybe we can just avoid this whole thing. We don't. <laughs> I don't want to come back. I don't want to be here in the first place. Is there any way to avoid that coming back? Because the procedure is extremely painful. <laughs> yeah,、uh, we don't like pain. We don't like feeling pain. So any way we can avoid pain is a good thing, right? Okay. So the procedure—that、um, means the actual pulling of the teeth. Here we use the word procedure, and it is extremely or very painful. So the dentist probably is smiling at this point,、uh, kind of laughing at the reaction. She says, "I understand your frustration. If you're feeling frustration, that's the noun form of the adjective frustrated. You can be frustrated, or you can."、Um, Have some frustration in your life. It just means you're feeling upset or annoyed, usually because、uh, you're not getting what you want, you're not achieving something that you want, or you can't change a bad situation.、Mm. I think he's frustrated because he knows he's going to have to experience some pain and wants to avoid it. She says that wisdom teeth are prone. Prone just means likely, likely to decay due to their position. They're way in the back of our mouths, and that's where. Where we chew, and sometimes we might not brush as well、um, back 
there. She says it would increase the risk of numerous oral problems. Oral just means having to do with your mouth or speaking.、Uh, if it's an oral quiz, it's a quiz where someone asks you questions and you have to listen to it and answer that way.、Um, Some of those numerous oral problems include gum disease, that pink flesh that surrounds our teeth. That's a bad thing, and tooth decay. That's also bad. It's very bad, right? You don't want to have these problems. You don't want gum disease. You don't want tooth decay. So that's why we go to the dentist, and that's why we try and take care of these problems、mm -hmm. with our teeth when、uh, when we have them. Aaron then goes on to say, out of curiosity. Okay, I'm curious here. I just want to know how long does it usually take to recover from a wisdom tooth extraction? Okay, so if I have my tooth pulled, if you pull my tooth for me, how long will I have to wait until I feel better? Okay, so when you recover from something, it means you feel better from being sick, or if you、uh, have an accident or something, and just when you're back to normal, let's say that's when you recover. And here we also have the word extraction. Okay, extraction. That's the noun form of the verb extract, e x t r a c t, and that is to pull something out, to extract something, to pull it out. Yeah, you can extract teeth.、Uh, you could also say uh, uh, you're extracting some oil or coal from the earth、mm. uh, because it's under the ground. But yeah, usually when we hear about extraction, it has to do with a bad situation. Either you're getting a tooth pulled, or maybe someone's been kidnapped, and some army men are going to go in and extract that person, try to rescue them. Sometimes you'll hear that in the news. So the dentist says, well. Nowadays, the vast majority, most people, will feel fine after three or four days. However, it may take a couple of weeks for your gums to completely heal. Yeah, I remember there was there was quite a long time where I couldn't eat anything. I just wanted to、uh, either drink some soup.、Uh, we would say eat soup. You guys would say hutong. But I would just want soup or ice cream. Of、mm. course, I always picked ice cream first. <laughs>、uh, sometimes I would have milkshakes. My mom would make me make me milkshakes.、Uh, But you don't want to be chewing anything because、right. your gums are sore. And I had all of my wisdom teeth out at one time. Oh my gosh! Yeah. So、um, every side, top, bottom, it was all sore. So I didn't eat stuff for a while. Right. Usually they'll do like one half. Yeah. And then maybe a week or two later, you go back and do the other half,、um, because if you do them all at once, it you know it's like you. You're just Having milkshakes and soup for a week, which which、yeah. is really boring, you know. People don't really like that.、So. Yeah, it's true. But、uh, I just wanted to get it all done at one time.、Mm, wow.、Uh, so that's what I did. I was so skinny then, though. But I I lost even more weight. That wasn't good. But、uh, yeah, if I had some advice, I would say just get it over with at one 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 visit. I would say. So the the Aaron just says, well, you know, I guess removing the tooth is the most sensible thing. To To do, I guess he's thinking logically. He doesn't want to go through the pain, but it's probably the best thing to do if you don't deal with the pain. At this point, it gets worse. That's a good so, point. Yeah, yeah.、Um, because he he went to the dentist because he's having tooth problems,、right. and then if you ignore it or if you try to avoid it or put it off, it's only going to get worse. So、mm -hmm. the the thing to do here is to just get it pulled or get it extracted. So right, what are the next steps? Well, the dentist says that she's going to take some X-rays of his tooth so she can assess the condition of it. When you assess something, you kind of、uh, examine it, you study it, and then you make a decision about what you should do. So we can talk about how we assess a problem, or you can assess a situation. You kind of weigh all the facts and then kind of. Figure out what you want to do about it after careful study. So, right, you might be assessing your life, asking questions about, oh, what am I going to do in the、mm -hmm. future? What kind of job do I want? You can assess big things. You can assess small things too. Yes, sometimes you'll hear about、um, people going through a tax assessment. Or a property assessment. We、uh, just sold my parents' home, and we had it assessed for its value.、Mm. Um, you will do that sometimes if you get a job. They'll they'll have you take an assessment to see how good your skills are. Maybe your English, or if you're.、Um, 
in the tax field. Maybe you're going to take a tax assessment quiz. It's kind of like an examination. So he,、uh, the doctor here wants to assess or. Evaluate or、um, decide how the the condition of the tooth is at this point. Its exact position. She doesn't want to pull the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> And any other related defects. A defect is some sort of problem that something has. It could be because it lacks something or it's an imperfection.、Uh, you might have、uh, lots of defects in some machinery you have at home. Uh, here, she just wants to see if there are any other related problems with that tooth. With these X-rays, you can often see quite a bit. That's true. Yeah,、uh, when I buy clothes, sometimes you go to the the clothing store and they'll、mm-hmm. have a special rack where they'll have all the clothes with with the defects, right?、Uh-huh. And usually those are cheaper. And then you you know you get home and you're like, wait, there's a hole in my shirt. Why did I why did I buy this? Yeah.、Um, but anyway, yeah, sometimes so. you can't see the defects, so、right. you can get a good deal. I always check very carefully, though. You have to, right? <laughs>、yeah. Buyer beware when you're when you're shopping like that. But、um, yeah, so it could be a good thing. So. Right. Let's see if there are any other defects uh, with uh, Aaron's teeth here. And then the dentist says you can speak with the receptionist outside. The receptionist is the person who sits at the desk there and answers the phones and、um, s- schedules appointments and things like that.、Uh, the receptionist at an office.、Um, okay. And then so you can schedule an appointment and you can come back and you can have the tooth removed and、yeah. everyone will be happy. You know, before we finish up here, I wanted to mention. This first vocabulary word check up. That's a noun form. We do have a phrasal verb to check up on someone or、mm-hmm. check up on something. Just means you follow up and see how things are. If it's a phrasal verb, though. Those two words aren't put together; they're separated, right? right. So,、um, I want you to check up on、um, this particular case. How's it going? Is the project going along smoothly? Or maybe your mom asks you to check up on your little brother or little sister to see what they're doing. So we use it that way too. We're going to take a quick break now, guys. Listen to our Chinese teacher, and then we'll be back to take a look at some of these useful expressions and the discussion question. Hello, everyone. 我是派老师。今天讲解的是十月十号 Unit Five, Getting a Wisdom Tooth Pulled. 今天这是一个多义单元。第一天课程呈现的牙医诊所的对话场景。不知道大家有没有拔过智齿？老师个人有两三次经验。第一次拔智齿非常不顺利，拔了将近两三个钟头，光麻醉剂就打了两三次，之后还流很多血。我想，智齿大概是演化过程当中留下来折磨人类的吧。OK， without further ado， 我们一起看看今日课程内容的学习重点吧。好，一开头是牙医先说 ，I see you are here for a checkup today。意思是问，今天是来检查牙齿的。Is anything bothering you？ 你有什么困扰呢？有什么问题呢？那我们今天对话的主人公 Aaron 就表示，后面有颗牙齿。这个礼拜一直在作怪。那牙医呢？他也很好回答说 ：“All right, let me go ahead and take a closer look。”我来帮你检查一下。结果呢？他接着回答：“看起来你下排的智齿蛀了个洞 （cavity）， 我们应该约个时间把它拔掉。”这里有几个字，请同学特别注意，包括 cavity， 就是我们的牙齿有蛀洞 ；wisdom tooth。就是智齿 ，schedule an appointment， 就是呢约定时间。不过也请同学特别注意，如果呢同学考多义的时候听到的是英国的口音，那他们呢通常会把 schedule 这个字念成 schedule。schedule， 请同学特别注意。再来，我们说拔牙的动词用什么呢 ？remove，remove Remove。好 ，Aaron 听到说牙医要拔他的智齿。他担心会痛，所以他就说 ，Is there any way to avoid that？ 有没有方法可以不用拔？我听说拔牙很痛呢。好，后面 Aaron 所说的话，请同学特别注意 procedure 这个字。procedure 一般而言，我们会说是程序。不过，请同学特别注意，它其实是 surgical operation 的同义词，也就是手术。那我们。
来看一个例句，比方说，有些人动手术呢，因为手术是比较长时间的，可能呢需要全身麻醉，所以我们可以说 ，the procedure is going to be carried out under general anesthesia. General anesthesia 就是全身麻醉。The procedure is going to be carried out under general anesthesia. 要全身麻醉了之后才会动手术。接着呢，牙医师又说了 ，I understand your frustration. 在这里呢，要先表现一下同理心。之后呢，牙医师再对 Aaron 说明，如果不拔会有哪些问题。因此，我们了解 ，leaving it in. Would endanger the surrounding teeth. 留着智齿在嘴巴里，周围的牙齿都会受到损害，会增加很多口腔问题的风险，包括牙龈疾病 gum disease, gum disease, 牙龈的疾病，还有呢 tooth decay, 蛀牙的问题。接下来 Aaron 呢，他就了解了。那他想要知道一下说，说如果拔完智齿。到底要多久才能够恢复？请同学看到，这是一个问句，后面的 extraction 其实呢就等于 removal， 拔牙。这个 remove 的动词如果加上 al， 去一加 al 就变成名词了。extraction 在这里当然也是指拔智齿的意思。所以牙医就跟他解说，牙龈要完全好起来，可能要好几个礼拜。请同学看到最后一句 ，It may take a couple of weeks for your gums to completely heal. 好，那接下来 Aaron 听了以后呢，他就了解到这个拔智齿其实是必须要做的，也是明智的决定。It's the most sensible thing to do. 好，那牙医师听到了 Aaron 接受他的建议，也告诉他，那我们接下来要做的事情就是。Take a new set of X-rays. 帮你拍几张 X 光片。为什么呢 ？The dentist is going to assess the condition of the tooth. 他要进一步的去评估，然后呢，找出这个蛀牙精确哦，确实的位置。Its exact position. Its exact position 就是这颗蛀牙它确切的位置。And any other related defects. 同时呢，也了解看看还有没有其他相关的问题。好，以上就是我们对 TOEIC 这一篇在牙医诊所里面所发生的对话所做的中文讲解。谢谢大家。We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back, guys. We're going to take a look at our useful expressions. Some of these expressions that you'll often hear, and hopefully you'll start using them in your own English when you have、uh, some English conversations with friends and teachers, what have you. So here we're going to talk about giving explanations. Why? Why did something happen, or why are you doing something?、Um, sometimes we have to explain more of what our meaning is. Sometimes、uh, you'll have a coworker, or maybe a, a, a student in class. They'll go, "Well, what do you mean by that?" What I mean is,、mm. and this is the first one. What I mean is, I haven't had my teeth cleaned in nearly three years. So maybe the dentist says, "You know, how long has it been?" Oh, a long time. Well, how long? What I mean is, I haven't been here for three <laughs> years, so that's a long time between going to get your teeth checked on. I would recommend going a little bit more frequently than that. Yeah, it's again, it's something that you don't like to do, but、yeah. if you keep doing it, at least you won't have a big problem, hopefully. Right.、Uh, but three years, yeah, that's a long time、uh, in between dentist visits. Okay, the second one is、uh, the reason for this is that I'm living overseas and. Don't have any health insurance. Okay, so again, the dentist might ask you, "Well, why? Why did? Why has it been so long?" And so you have to you have to give an answer. Okay, and so the way you can introduce your answer is, "Well, the reason for this is,、um, this is because is what this means here. The reason for this is the reason why. The reason for this is that well, I'm overseas, and sometimes when we travel overseas. 
we might not buy insurance, or if we have to go to the to the to the doctor or something in a foreign country, it's a little bit weird. So we might want to avoid it because we don't speak the same language, or we're unfamiliar with the different procedures and things. So right, we might avoid the dentist or the doctor. So the reason for this is that yeah, I'm a foreigner, so I didn't I didn't go to the dentist. Yeah, well, you know that's an understandable reason.、Uh, it can be quite expensive in some con- countries if you don't have health insurance there, and you typically don't. You have to buy a different kind of health yeah, insurance. Yeah, in North America, <laughs> dental insurance is separate, right? And right. so a lot of people don't really have it, and then they have problems with their teeth, and it's, it's expensive. It's bad. Yeah. yeah. Well, number three is well. The thing is,、um, here we've got somebody who probably said, "Well, I really want to get my teeth whitened, but I can't." And the other person probably says, "Well, why not?" Well, the thing is, this is a way we start out、um, with an answer to why something's happening or not happening.、Mm. Well, the thing is, you'll hear it a lot, especially if you're watching、uh, TV shows or watching movies. You'll hear that phrase a lot. Well, the thing is, yeah,、um, I can't get my teeth whitened because I don't have enough money. If you get your teeth whitened, it's not covered by. Dental insurance,、uh, because it's considered to be cosmetic or something that makes you just look better,、hmm. prettier.、Um, so that's a way to start with trying to give an explanation. Well, the thing is, so we're going to move on now, Jacob, to the discussion question. What are some problems that people have with their teeth? Well, <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> you can have a lot of problems with、mm-hmm. your teeth.、Um, Some of the some of the most basic problems are, of course, cavities. Right? We we covered that in our article here. It's a, that's when you get a small hole in your tooth because you maybe you didn't brush it well enough, and then the sugar, the food gets starts caught, to eat away. Start, yeah, starts、mm. to eat away at your at your teeth, and that's not good because you get a hole in your tooth, and、mm. you have to have it filled. So cavities is a very common one. Yeah, sometimes people.、Um, Have a sports injury and a tooth gets knocked out.、Yeah. That's a problem you can have with your tooth. As you get older, you start losing your teeth. Your teeth get old, right? And they're they, you know they just kind of、uh, start crumbling at some point. So、right. a lot of older people have to get a lot of those false teeth put in. Uh, you can、uh, spend a lot of money that way too. And when you're younger, of course, probably a lot of our our readers and、uh-huh. listeners have had they had crooked teeth when、right. they were small, and you go to the dentist and they'll say, okay, well, we want to straighten your teeth, so they might have to you might have to get braces on、mm-hmm. your on your teeth. Now they have these clear, I know, like invisible braces.、Right. That I'll show you a picture of me when I was、uh, about thirteen or fourteen years old. I had、old. braces too. I had braces. They're the metal thing. That they put on your teeth, and they're really ugly, and they also kind of cut up the、they、inside、hurt. of your mouth. Yeah, they can really <laughs> hurt. No one likes braces, so hopefully the kids today have a better experience with、uh, getting their teeth straightened.、Yeah. That's a special kind of dentist called an orthodontist.、Ooh. Yeah, so if you have crooked teeth,、uh, the options to fix that are much better than when we were growing up. That's true. Okay, guys, that's all the time we have for today. We're going to wrap it up. We hope you'll join us for day two of our TOEIC unit. We're not done talking about getting wisdom teeth removed for English Digest. I'm Stephanie, and I'm Jacob. Bye bye.